Before we start the video, just like to take the opportunity to remind everybody I have an email subscription list. The links for the sign up are in the description to the video below. So um, click the link, go over there, sign up, and I can keep everybody up to date with the latest projects and uh, artwork and videos, but also my latest book, which will be out early next year. It's uh, based around a very different version of death than we've seen in pop culture so far. He's coming out of retirement to help a transformed human soul to stop an ancient enemy from invading the Earth dimensions with his demon horde. It's action, adventure, pathos and heart all the way in this story. It's definitely got its feet firmly based in the Bronze Age and it's all ages. So um, check that out and uh, I'll be able to give you more information about that and the crowdfunder on that if you're part of the email list. Uh, I'll also make sure there's an extra perk in the crowdfunding for anybody who is on the email list. So with that, thanks very much for listening and on with the video. So uh, this video is a quick breakdown of a panel that I've done for my storyboarding work at the moment. Uh, obviously I can't show too much of that because it is uh, pre-production, but I can show the occasional board or the occasional panel. Um, without giving any story away uh, and uh, I've had a few people a few subscribers and uh, people who've watched the video ask if I could show um, not just where I've inked stuff or where I've had a, a final production and I'm showing you the stages but actually me physically drawing down the the bare bones of a panel or of a scene um, so what I thought would be the best thing to do is uh, is just screen grab me putting a panel together for um, for the storyboarding um, because uh, the panels are invariably they're, they're not as finished off as you would use for a comic strip because um, obviously you'd ink it up and colour it and what have you so they're, they're quite rough by comparison to my comic book work but they're still um, still very very similar they still break the panel down in, in a very similar way it's obviously it's written from a script I have to put figures or the characters into positions into their scenes um, and then um, once I've, I've got them roughed out um, then fill those characters in and, and give them some life so th these are all uh, grey tone uh, black and white storyboards because there's no need for me to go into colour for these because they're all about camera angles and um, and, and following the script and, and portraying some character so that the production crew and the actors and the director can just like have them up on a on a, um, a wall or whatever, a, 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 an area, a desk, and, and just flick through them and, and everybody gets a general idea of how it's all gonna work out camera-wise, story-wise, what have you. Um, so you can see I've, I've laid down a very basic sketch of where I roughly want the, the two characters to be or on their background. Their background is if they're on a boat, they're coming down a river, and uh, one of them has just jumped up because the engine has failed or something along those lines. I can't even remember exactly now. Um, but so I've, I've, you can see the way I've, I've cut in those characters, I've cut in the bodies and built them up um, uh, with uh, very basic uh, shapes. And then I'm going in over the top and uh, filling in the details, so just like clothes and faces and hair and stuff like that. Um, once that's done, the, then I can think about filling in the background and uh, making it all work together. So um, in this particular case, uh, it's, it's, it's easier to do it much like I did with the, um, the Ben 10 stuff that I did and the animation stuff that I've done, it, it is basically make things in layers. Uh, Photoshop is great for that and obviously Clip Studios is good as well, but, but just drawing digitally in that way um, is so much easier to, to, to put the layers together and cut things out and pop backgrounds behind. Um, something that's uh, a very common error when you see people drawing, and I, I do it as well, I mean, it's just, I'm not bringing this out as, as me being perfect, far from it. Um, lots of people will, will draw things and they'll draw the backgrounds on and what have you, and or there'll be someone st stepping in front of someone else and they won't complete the drawing of the thing that's behind and often what happens is especially if you're if you're layering um, characters or figure drawings one over the other sometimes limbs can get extended in, in weird ways and people can get bent around and what have you because you you're not drawing the full figure and you're not kind of getting the idea about how that figure works or how a piece of background works or whatever so it's really quite handy to be able to layer 
um, and as you can see now I'm flicking in again I'm not going over the top on detail I'm just flicking in the background um, and how it works and then I'm dropping my characters back on over the top of that to see how they fit within the environment there you can see I've just moved the, the guy over so he fits perfectly with the with the tiller um, and I've drawn his, his hand over the drip tiller so that it works I mean th these are storyboards so I don't have to be super detailed or or, or get it exactly right it's it's a sort of a sensation of how the the uh, image will look on screen and how it works and so here you go I've just finished this off now just uh, put the shades in giving it some grayscale and some texture so that um, so that it's it's usable uh, in the production environment so uh, I just wanted to share that with everyone um, hopefully uh, it will be of some use to some people and um, you know, people were asking you know show me how you actually draw build up a, a panel rather than just fin seeing the finished product so there you go hopefully you've enjoyed that and I'll see you again real soon bye bye Thanks for watching Comic Book Black Belt. If you've enjoyed the content from this video, please like, share or subscribe and come over and follow me on Twitter. It's been great having you in the dojo. See you again soon.